I just, I couldn't even put a number on it. It was extraordinary. We, we were worried about its health. It was good. I do have to admit, I spent most of my time playing Pokemon. I've caught a Dialga. Oh, Liam's been here, hasn't he? I just know this is his. I told you I don't associate with Liam anymore. The Jurassic Park theme was a massive influence. I think we played a bit of Mario Kart. I mean, the message is, is like, we want to talk about global warming, but in a fun way. The Drivers Club came into the studio. July last year, 23, to record five songs. I said, what are you doing? What am I doing? What have you been up to? Me, I've been playing Pokemon, that's what I've been doing. <laughs> yeah, get right in You recorded some drums, some vocals, some guitar. Mm -hmm. I am Sam Pierpoint. I am the producer of A Beautiful Side Tracks by The Drivers Club. And that's what we did. Wow. Sam, exceptional guy, really friendly, always wearing a hat of some sort, always made sure that I was never stressed out at all. And then we'll work out what we do after the strings leave. Like he was really pushy, admins, buttons. Right, come on. It's beautiful actually. I thought I had a great time. I don't know whether he had a good time with us. Adam, he's just a, a, a generally a bit, of a, a bit of a nuisance to have around, really. We're civil, we're in the same room. Started off all right now, you get to know each other at the start of the week. You've got a nice face, you go, hi, nice to meet you. And as the week goes on, you realise how just much of a shambles the whole project really is. The lack of planning that went into it, the amount of flour, abuse. There's so much sugar. And he's just sitting there, you know, pour it and on. I mean, I would say we definitely used a lot of friendship. So much. Jesus. Um, start of the week, we had the band, which obviously is Adam, Seth and Brandon. And then there's this. Extra guy who sort of tags along, Liam. Something wrong with the guy, I don't know. Starts sweating a lot around him. Nice fella though. Uh, fan boy. I couldn't even comment on what Liam did in the studio. Uh, didn't come in with any sort of musical instrument. I think he spent 99% of his time playing Pokemon. He did walk in with this sort of square looking thing. Oh, mate, when you look around, you're just like, like, like everything just looks like a wall to me. I can't even remember if his bass guitar was even real. Describe Liam in three words. Hard. Long. Tall. Out of the Queen's chair. Oh, sorry. I should know you better. <coughs> Pink for a reason. Oh, sorry. Then I'm not allowed. Oh, oh sorry. my god, sir. Uh, Just an example of the relaxed feel in so Sandbag Studio. Describe Seth in three words. Has anyone seen Bullet Train? Okay, Liam, this is more than three words. Okay. We're going again. Seth Beard. There's so many things I can say about him. Got this vast look to him of just beauty and goddessness. <laughs> Describe Seth in three words, Liam. Um, swole. Oh yeah. Fast. Loud. So I, I wrote so far. No, you don't have it. So it was 100% done by me. 25% yeah, effort. All four of us? Yeah, everyone had the show. Like, you know, everyone, are we talking about flower or this song? There was some sort of musical performance named so fine, but it sounded more of, more of like a nursery rhyme. Jurassic Park, Star Wars, Superman. As the week went on, we sort of found this sort of John Williams theme keep cropping on. Ba, 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 ba. Which is just totally irrelevant to the music. I couldn't quite make the connection between Jurassic Park and the music, other than the fact that both were pretty, pretty dated. That was a bit of a tide. Uh, you look gorgeous. And then we got a little... Choir in the church, Adam had a foolish idea. Right. Rather than just, you know, I've booked a sheet for a week, let's record vocals here. Let's go to the other side of the world, to a random church. Experience the choir in the church, man. Surreal. So we didn't use any of the, any of what we were meant to use them for, which was another track Gina but then I had the bright idea hey hey where it will work is we can do sort of like a bit of a Paramore ain't it fun rip off there's thousands of them we'll just do it more of like a chant do you know what I mean and every one of them was a Grammy award with an artist it was, it was a fun day what are we thinking boss man it's gone well 
I'm very tired. Go well, very tired. So yeah, um, I actually sent out a few emails. So Liam's under the impression that we're gonna do a movie. We've got Brad Pitt on it. Like, he's down to play my main character called Steve. Calling it something like, driving around the bend or something. Drives called the driving around the bend. I'm working on the second script at the moment. Uh, he doesn't know that that Seth and I actually just sent him an email pretending to be Warner Brothers. And it's now become a time traveler's mission. I think Olivia Coleman's gonna play Brandon. David Tennant said that he'd come in in his TARDIS to play an older version of myself. Wayne The Rock Johnson to play Seth. But he's like fully gone for this now. I just, <laughs> he's gonna be so mad. <laughs> so Fine is about global warming, the world that we are now left with at our age of being in our 20s, and how on earth we're meant to deal with that and how I don't think I can deal with that. <laughs>